My name is Dermot Fitzpatrick from Inspiring Enterprises, specializing in executive coaching, timeout retreats, and motivational speaking. Yeah, my talk this morning was about the story of the acres of diamonds, how we are all sitting in our own acres of diamonds, and because we're sitting in it ourselves, we can't necessarily see it, and we're sometimes moving too fast in the highly paced world that we live in today. And my talk today was about inviting people to slow down and move in from the uh, information superhighway, as I call it, into the intelligent super lay-by, to drive the car into the lay-by, take out the keys and slow down so that the innovation and ideas can, can come up. The reaction was very positive. I specifically took a risk this morning in not using any technology and just getting connected with the people. And I think that, that we were able to establish rapport right from the beginning and people started to listen to the stories. There were three stories I was telling, uh, more or less on the same theme about discovering your acres of diamonds. And people seemed to discover that they were at the center of their acre of diamonds and that there was a lot had to do with what they could do with what they already had with themselves, with their business, with especially with their people and with their customers. Finding out what their own particular niche in the market is, what their speciality is within that market and focusing on that, that's their acre of diamonds and finding out how to capitalize on that more effectively. Yes, there was one gentleman who, who runs a, a bookstore and uh, what he realized afterwards he said was that how important it is for him to believe in himself how to believe in his business so that the people in his business will believe in it too and the customers uh, will believe in it. Um, he also liked the idea of the stories, being a bookseller. He's yeah. very connected with the stories and, and he felt there was a real connection there for, for him. Um, someone else said that they, they loved the stories that normally that these talks were, were more of a technical nature, more of a structured nature, business focused nature. And with the stories they were able to get in underneath perhaps the logic and that we had all were brought up with hearing stories and there was a lot of good lessons to be learned in the stories we learned as children which are still relevant to us today and that he enjoyed hearing the stories and got quite a lot out of them. Yes. <laughs> One of the stories I told was about how I discovered a, a diamond in the rough at the Caledonian Hotel in Edinburgh where I'd, I'd gone there uh, as my first general management assignment and the story I tell is how I realized that what a beautiful diamond it was. It was covered in dirt and muck. And we were able to create from that, with the help of 200 wonderful Scottish staff, the first five-star hotel in Edinburgh, and it later became one of the leading hotels of the world. And, and from that I learned that you need to have passion, you need to have purpose, and most importantly, you've got to surround yourself with the right people. Bring in the expert diamond cutters when you need them.